Hello everyone, this is Samarian, and in this tutorial we are going to be building a survival type game. And what I mean by survival type game is one of those games where you have hunger points and they're statically decreasing and you increase them by eating food and if you reach zero you will be defeated. Uh, we're going to design that type of game in Disney Infinity 2.0. And I haven't written anything out for this game. We're going to kind of do this off scratch. And I'm doing that as a way to show you how I like to do my my uh, logic when I'm designing these type games. And what I generally do is I break it down into different circuits or different functions in the game. And then I connect them all together. So what we need in this game is we need a way to track the player's health. We need a system to steadily decrease the player's health. We need a system to increase their health if they uh, collect items. We need a system to defeat them if they run out of health. And we probably also want a system in place so that they have some health to begin with when the game starts. So I'm going to start with the main component we need, which is tracking their health. And we're going to build basically one of my greater than, less than, equal to uh, circuits, uh, which I have a tutorial on, and we're also going to use a team scoreboard to show the player what their health is currently at. Now, I'm thinking I want to set this up so that at the very maximum, if the player is at full hunger uh, or full, mm, they have as many food points as possible. I want it to take a minute before they run out of uh, help, hunger points. So I'm going to set this scoreboard above 60 because if I don't and anything goes wrong, this scoreboard can reset on, on me really easily. If I hit the number it's set to, which I just set to 68, um, if the number hits 68, the next time an input is received, it will reset itself and go back to zero, which we don't want to happen. We want to keep an accurate track of what's going on. So we are going to set it up as a greater than, equal than, equal to, less than circuit. So since our target is the number 60, we're going to set this top counter to a target count of 60. We don't want to display. And we're going to set the one below it to 60 minus 1, or 59, like that. Now, what we want to happen is we want, uh, if the target reaches 60, we don't want them to be able to have health or hunger points above 60. We need the system to stop uh, adding numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a logic gate as the input to all of these counters and the team scoreboard. So when it gets an output, it's going to increment by one both the counters, and it's going to increment by one the scoreboard, so that everything changes its value at the same time, so they're always at the same value. Now, when this counter, the one set to 60, reaches 60, we don't want to be able to go above 60. So the easiest way we can do that is if the only way we increment any of these counters is through this logic gate, and it's through the output of this logic gate. So if I reach 60, I want to close this logic gate. So no more increment uh, outputs will come out of this logic gate. And if I hit number 59, I want to open this logic gate. So what happens is we hit 60, this logic gate closes. Uh, say you were at 58, you collected some food that was worth 5 points. You would go 59, 60, and it would stop, and you wouldn't go up to 63. Because just like uh, my currency system, we are going to put... Uh, a circuit in place that will ensure that we can only add by one number at a time. Okay, so we've taken care of uh, a system to make sure we hit 60 and we can't go higher than 60. So, simplest next circuit we're going to build, because it's 
basically one piece of logic, is we're going to put a repeater down. And once it turns on, every time it repeats, we are going to decrease all the score or the counters and the scoreboard by one. And we're going to set this repeater to a rate of one. So every second it will repeat. So every second after it's been turned on, it is going to decrease the two counters and our scoreboard by one. So every second our hunger points go down by one. And that is meaning that if we have our maximum, which is 60 hunger points in this counter, we have a minute before it reaches zero which is when we are going to defeat the player. So, we need a system now for when they eat food, they, uh, their health goes up. So we're going to do that with a collectible tracker. And we're also going to need one of my faster than a time delay circuits, because we have to increment these numbers one at a time, but we want to do it really fast. So the easiest way to do that is with one of my faster than a time delay circuits, which involves a counter and a logic gate. What we're also going to add here is a other counter. You've probably seen me do this before in other tutorials. To count how many times this circuit has gone. Let's make that make more sense. Put the logic gate over there. So what we're going to say is when this logic gate opens, increment this counter by one, and when it outputs, increment this counter by one. And we need to change the properties. We're going to set it to five. Uh, just the different count you set to controls how fast the circuit works. And we're going to say yes, reset on target reached. So when the count changes, we need to input to this logic gate, which starts a nice little loop going at an incredibly fast rate. And every time this counter reaches 5, we are going to increment by one this counter, which is, I'll show you in a minute what that's doing. But if we hit target reached, we want to send an input to this logic gate, which is set to increase the score and this, the count of everything here by 1 unless the target reached of 60 has been keeped, in which case the points will go out input block to nowhere. They won't count for anything. So this counter is going to be controlling how many times I let this faster than time delay circuit run. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it run five times. So every time you pick up a collectible, you will get five hunger points. And this one, we also need to be reset on target reached. So, I've already attached the target reached from this counter to increment by one this next counter. So when this counter reaches five, it means we've run through this circuit five times. And at that point, I want to close that logic gate. And that will stop the entire loop from happening. And I need to say, when a collectible is collected by any player, open this logic gate, which will start the circuit running. It will run five times, and then it will stop every time someone collects food. So we now have that circuit working. The next circuit we're going to need is we're going to need a circuit to tell the player or to tell the game, if the player runs out of hunger points, uh, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to defeat them. And the easiest way I've found to do it is I'm going to do it with an action enforcer and a kill switch. And what we'll do on just one of these counters, since both these counters should always be at the same value, I only need to say on one of them, if you reach zero, I want you to perform the lament action, and I tell the action enforcer if any action is attempted, 
defeat the player who just did that action. So if anyone laments, they will be defeated. And if this counter reaches zero, everyone is performing the lament uh, action. So there we have it. So now if you run out of hunger, you're going to be defeated. And at the same point, if you run out of hunger points, I don't need this subtracting by one anymore. I can turn off this repeater. Now, we're going to set this up. Uh, I'm going to throw down some cakes. Those are the collectibles. And I'm also going to set this up so that it's going to start with a challenge maker. But there's one more thing we want to do. One more circuit we need to design, which is the circuit that will, when we first start this challenge, I want the player to have 30 health points. Or be at about half health, half hunger, sorry. So, how we're going to do that is we're going to design another faster than the time layer system. And again, we're going to use a counter to decide how many times it runs. And again, the exact same setup. If it opens this logic gate, increment by one. If this logic gate has an output, increment by one. We're going to set the count of this one to five as well. Always remember reset from target reach. It won't work if you don't do that. Count changed. Inputs to this logic gate. Now, whenever we reach target reached, we want to increment by 10. So both the counters. And the reason I can do this is because I know at the very beginning of the game, these counters will be at zero. And that scoreboard will be at zero. So I know if I do this three times, I won't be going over the value of 60. So I'm completely free at this point to add these points uh, by 10 at a time because I'm not going to go over the target reach of any of these counters. Now, when the target is reached, I want to increment by 1 this counter. And since we want it to be 30, we need 3 times 10 will give us 30. And when we've done that three times, we need to close that logic gate. So here's how we're going to set it up. We're going to say when this challenge starts, we're going to get it. We're going to say when invites are accepted, because that's the first logic that runs on Challenge Maker, open this gate, which is going to increase all our points by 30. So when the challenge starts, we should be at 30 health points. And I'm going to say when the game starts, we want to start this repeater, which every second is subtracting one point from our hunger points. And that should really be all we should have to do. Now, if I want this system to be used again and again and again, I can say, when the invites are accepted, let's reset, let's put all these collectibles back, and when the game is ended, I want to reset these counters. So that the next time someone steps on this challenge maker, uh, everything is back at uh, back at the initial values. And I also want to reset that scoreboard. So, let's give this a try and see how well it works. There we go. You see I had my 30 points. Every second, I'm losing a point, and if I collect that, my points went up by five, but it was still the system was still subtracting. So there we go, my points went up, and they're coming back down. Points went up, and they're coming back down. So as you can see, I would need a lot of food to keep this guy going, <laughs> and I'm about to run out. And again, now I have 
only about 22 seconds before my character is about to starve because there's no more food on the map right now. When we reach zero, our character was defeated. He ran out of food. And also, if you see, the scoreboard has stopped moving, which means our repeater turned off because we set the zero reach to this counter to turn the repeater off. So there you go. The game uh, let us live as long as we had hunger points to continue living. And if I step on the challenge maker, oh, I have to port the challenge. And I should have set that up as well. I should have said if we reach zero with that counter, complete the game. You're done. And I'm not going to make it a fail because at some point you're probably going to run out of food, but let's start this challenge again and everything should be back to normal. The collectibles are back and the counter should begin at 30 again and quickly be going down. I step on these my count goes up but then keeps coming down. And now we'll fast forward again and this time the challenge maker should actually finish when I perish. And there we go. That is the basics on how you set up a survival type game. Again, this is Sumerian. I hope this has been helpful and have yourselves all a wonderful day.